Hey guys, I'm Ted and I'm here to give you another fat fact that for today's fat fact, we will discuss Frederick Douglass' second marriage. Um, now, Frederick Douglass had uh, married Anna Murray Douglass way, way back before he began his career. They met when he had been uh, apprenticed out to a Baltimore uh, ship caulker and after he made a flight from, from Freedom, she joined him in the North. Um, they had a very long, uh, successful, and fruitful marriage. Um, they had five children together, four of whom survived to adulthood. Um, but she died. She died in 1884. Uh, and Douglas, um, heartbroken that he was, uh, bitterly divided his family um, and his friendships, his followers, um, tarnished his reputation, and... Even even more basically, just aroused controversy by his decision to marry uh, for a second time. Now, it wasn't his decision to marry that arose all the controversies, that, that arose all this discord. It was uh, his choice of a second wife. Um, his choice for a second wife was a woman named Helen Pitts, who was the daughter of white abolition of friends of his. Uh, and... Um, and uh, the marriage was, was just, while a success, it was, it, was a, it was a success between the two members of the marriage, between the husband and the wife, though it was childless, um, was fulfilling for him in his last years of life, uh, but was really just met with disapproval by those closer to them. That would be her parents and his children. Um, Douglas, uh, um, after his death, um, his estate came, uh, his estate, um, was, uh, teetering on the, uh, on the verge of bankruptcy. And his wife actually made appeals to a number of institutions, to a number of personal friends of his, um, and people who were just generally, uh, well disposed to Frederick Douglass, who were still, to, uh, well, reasonably well disposed to Frederick Douglass, uh, to help, to help her save it. And the response they all sent her was that, yes, they, they, they would do what they can to save uh, the home and to protect the legacy of the Sage of Anacostia, as Frederick Douglass was, was uh, referred to. But they did not want her involved. Um, in order to uh, protect his legacy, she would have to uh, exclude herself from everything. And indeed, Frederick Douglass's home in uh, Washington, D.C. is still preserved. Um, indeed, um, those, uh, those people that she reached out to came in and uh, preserved the legacy and the memory of Frederick Douglass. But the price of all that was that she would be excluded and that Douglass's, uh, Doug, Doug, um, Douglass's life would be sort of edited. Um, his second marriage will be edited out. His defense of his second marriage will be edited out, and that this controversy will sort of be put behind them. Um, and then you guys have it. That is my quick fast fact on the second marriage of Frederick Douglass. Uh, it, it and it still remains a very divisive topic, a very divisive uh, uh, issue to broach amongst people who have admiration for Frederick Douglass or people who study history as well. A lot of people are really unaware that he had a second marriage, let alone that his second marriage was interracial. Um, but it was. And it still bitterly divides even in conversations now. It's not something that one just walks into with someone who uh, studied Frederick Douglass or someone who was um, someone who was uh, an Afrocentric or even a Eurocentric. Um, it's very divisive, a very heated uh, topic to bring up. But I uh, hope you guys found it enlightening, entertaining, and insightful. Um, as always, hit like, subscribe, and comment. And really, let me know what you thought about Frederick Douglass' second marriage. As always, I'm Ted, and I'll see you guys next time for another Fast Fact.